Accident and incident. These two terms are used all the time in safety. And really, what's the difference? Yeah, that, is, that is a loaded question. I'm Rachel Walla with Ally Safety. And in safety, we have gone back and forth on the accident versus incident debate so many times that some organizations have even come up with their own special ways of defining these terms. Well, isn't that special? <laughs> But in this video, we are going to get really clear on the difference using examples. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The words accident and incident are almost used interchangeably, but there is a difference and I've got good news for you. Chances are you probably already have a pretty good instinct for what those differences are. To demonstrate that, I'm going to play two clips, one using the word incident and one using the word accident. After each term is used, try to imagine what type of event people are alluding to. There was an incident, I'd rather not discuss it. Come on, you can tell me. There's, um, there's been an accident. Now, chances are you imagined a different type of event when the word incident was used versus the word accident. And the reason for that is these words have significantly different definitions. An incident is defined as an individual occurrence or event, something that occurs casually in connection with something else. But it all seems so vague. The definition of the term incident is almost frustratingly vague, but it's intentionally vague. Luckily, on the other hand, the term accident is intentionally much more specific. You see, an incident is an event, where an accident is a type of incident. An accident is defined as an undesirable or unfortunate happening that occurs unintentionally and usually results in harm, injury, damage, or loss. Accident is also defined as an event that happens unexpectedly, without a deliberate plan or cause. To make this difference even clearer, we're gonna watch a couple of clips that use these terms in a way that shows the difference. I said that Dave had an incident there two weeks ago and his janitorial company was forced to reassign him to another facility. What kind of incident? Notice that the question was what type of an incident? This one simple question really helps to differentiate these two terms. An incident is a general term and can cover things like accidents, near misses, diplomatic or political events, security breaches, the list goes on and on. Now, watch this one. I accidentally broke Ross's nose. It was so not an accident. She saw I was about to tag her, so she threw her big grandma arm elbow in my face. We've probably all had this argument at one time or another in our lives, where we're talking about whether an accident was actually an accident, or if it was intentional. And this argument does a brilliant job of illustrating the difference between these two words because an accident can't really be intentional, but an incident can. Accidents are specific events that have unintended consequences. Another word that you often hear alongside an accident is mistake. I made a mistake. The point being that the outcome wasn't intentional. The word accident itself almost implies a loss of control. And just to keep this video interesting, let's add some Ron Swanson to the mix. First of all, everyone is fine. No one got hurt, but there was an incident. As Ron illustrates in this clip, the word incident can describe an event without describing any specific outcome. Where the word accident implies an unwanted outcome. So to wrap up this debate, the word incident is used to describe an event without implying what the outcome was. It's basically a more official way of saying something happened. Something, something happened. Something. Yeah. <laughs> Where an accident is a type of incident that has unintended and usually undesirable consequences. Hey, you ever been in an accident? <laughs> About five years ago, going down this very road. <laughs> I hope this video helps you to clarify the difference between incidents and accidents. 
If it did help you to make sense of those terms, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later.